Well, good evening. It's May 4th, 2022. Welcome to the Alan Osborne Show. Boy, I called that one. You see the guy behind me, old Graham? He made the Northwest Florida Daily News, which showed the Alan Osborne Show is once again on target for who's out there causing a bunch of uh, corruption and suspicion on there. So let's go back over, Mr. Fountain. Go read the Northwest Florida Daily News. And you tell me. So anyway, so it gets down to this. State Attorney Greg Anchors seems to have had selective enforcement of the law when it comes to public records and following the law and enforcing the law because he's been presenting much more evidence in the state attorney's office that he ran in Walton County for the exact same type of things that he's charging a councilwoman in Destin with. What's the common denominator? Well, you're looking at him right behind me. Anybody else was out there, he ate them. But Graham is just a politico. If I remind you, he was your Okaloosa County Commissioner and he resigned because his blood pressure and health was so bad. Gee, I wonder what did that. Anyway, he said he didn't, couldn't handle that part-time job, so he took a full-time job in the state attorney's office. And you go read the paper. But here's something you didn't know. Who do you think is going to investigate Graham? Will it be the state attorney's office? He just worked there. Will it be the Okaloosa Sheriff's Department? Well, I don't think that's a good idea either. Will it, will it be the Walton County Sheriff's Department? I doubt it, because Graham was their chief of staff and the undersheriff and worked for Michael Atkinson. Doesn't it? I said, who's going to investigate the cops? So Graham was playing King Cop up there working at the state attorney's office. And lo and behold, as soon as he left, the state attorney comes after a political opponent of the person that he's now working for, a developer. I thought you were a cop, Graham. You don't look like you could swing a hammer. Looks all like all you've done is swing a knife and fork, in my opinion. But here, some of you people go, well, if Walton County can't investigate it, our sheriff will. Well, will you? Well, the Okaloosa County? Well, Eric Aiden, are you going to investigate Graham and all this stuff in Destin? How are you going to do that? Isn't this with you and Graham at the deer camp? Yeah, man. Cool on. Cool right there. That's right. Cool beans at the deer camp. Oh, look. Here comes the choo-choo of corruption, Graham. Open wide. Kiss your buddies. So here's some deer camp pictures. So here's the Okaloosa sheriff who Graham helped put in there. And oh, by the way, Eric, did you build houses for a while before you became a lieutenant in Walton County? I have absolutely zero faith that anybody will investigate Graham Fountain or investigate Michael Atkinson or investigate Greg Anchors on his selective enforcement of the law. But should you be a detective or an investigator, contact me for the evidence that's been given to law enforcement, especially Greg Anchors. It's pretty heavy on the violations in Walton County. This looks like grandstanding to me, or selective enforcement of the law, or malicious prosecution, when the same amount of evidence on other officials that old Graham, has helped put in office or worked for, that tells you everything because this guy gave him a job. The sheriff of Walton County also gave Eric Aiden a job. And there they are at deer camp this year. Hmm. I'm sorry. This is too connected. This is too close. And something ain't right. Do you think the sheriff's going to investigate Clay Atkinson, the county attorney? who's driving the 1% sales tax, who's not a real county attorney. He's just an interim for, for going on a year and a half. But he's building a new county's attorney's office, so when he goes into his private practice, he will have picked and set all the rules for government while he doesn't answer to ethics rules because he's a, quote, interim. He's also Mike's cousin. Do you think Mike's going to 
investigate his cousin? I don't think that any more than uh, the sheriff of Okaloosa is going to in, in, investigate the man next to him who once again is putting more food in his mouth. I don't believe that. Something is wrong. Something smells. And we've got a problem in law enforcement. And when the foundations of justice are unstable, look, my dad told me one time, son, the world ain't fair and life ain't fair. There's basically nothing fair. And at the end of not fair, you die when life is over. He said, and the U.S. is capitalistic. So the one thing that has to be fair in the United States is the government because nothing else will be. Somebody will put you in a group or you'll be born into a group or you'll be done this or done that or some event in your life. It just won't be fair. <laughs> if life's been fair to you 100% 100, 100 of the time, boy, don't tell anybody and jinx yourself because just life's not fair. So the government has to be the umpires. What good would baseball games be without an umpire? God forbid Danny Glidewell, Danny Lidewell call your game. But look, folks, back to the issue. You read the papers. These Listen, this man has probably a $70 million a year unanswerable budget in Walton County. He don't have to tell us crap what he's doing. To he hires his friends. He won't investigate his relatives. And he can't even follow judge's orders. And I'm happy to provide you that documents too. But this is just the tip of the spear. And there's, and there's, this is a tug of war, and right there's the anchor man. This, you can't make this shit up on the Alan Osborne show. Look, people, y'all call Ginger Madden's office and tell her she ran on stopping public corruption. Duh, Ginger, call me. I'll help you out. I'll help you keep your campaign promise, Miss Madden. And that's the way it was on May 4th, 2022. On the Emerald Coast with the Alan Osborne Show. Y'all keep them straight out there. Hey, y'all ever drink this half lemonade, half tea crap from Milo's? Oh, excuse me. I'm a terrible. They're not paying me. But man, is this stuff awesome. Or the Arnold Palmer stuff. Boy, half sweet tea and half lemonade, you just can't go wrong. <laughs> See you next time on the Alan Osborne Show. Y'all keep them straight there. You hear? <laughs>